they got bored with me, so they're they're playing <laughs> playing with their mini we're cards. To get to 10, yeah, we're playing tiny cards. Um. Oh, I was gonna say what I thought Ooh. was the hardest part of the hike was in what is it, Connecticut, and it was where it was hilly. So, but it was so humid, and that sucked. Oh, yeah. We were soaking yeah. wet because what month was that? You because you were. That was in August, early August, August, I yeah. think. Connecticut is a sleeper. No one talks about how hard Connecticut is. It's oh. a tough, tough state. Yeah, yeah. well, because before we were able Especially to go... Then, yeah. yeah, in southern Maine, it was kind of, it was cool enough, and being in the higher elevation, you know, not sweating as much is nice. <laughs> and then we don't have to... This sounds gross, but not have to bathe as, as often. But a lot, of, a lot of hikers get, like, pack rash. It's when your pack rubs against you and then makes your skin all... Mm bumpy from the sweat and it's horrible but freaking connecticut was that was the toughest part and being uncomfortable with ourselves like that gross is that's hard i don't think a lot of my you didn't embrace the smell no oh you might not yeah well i don't know depends on the day okay so what was the funnest part what do you enjoy the most something like that Okay. Do you enjoy going into town, or is that a bother? Uh, I don't like going into town. Or to be on the trail, yeah. It's too overwhelming. Walking into a grocery store. In fact, I was thinking of when we were in Adam, North Adams, or was that Massachusetts? Mm-hmm. Um, I remember walking into the grocery store, and I was so over overstimulated with the music, the lights. Um, the people, just all the movement. I I froze. Like I kind of, it was almost like a panic attack. It's yeah. Yeah, I was like. We lived oh. out this like stripped down life out here, and so it can be kind of overwhelming going into town. It's so overwhelming and so overstimulating, and too to think, my pack's only so big, I and I can only carry so much because you know you see these people with their grocery carts filling the grocery carts, and it's like I have to fill my food sack this big, so it's a it's and it's a lot to process too. The, if I buy a box of granola bars, how many days of food is that? And the tunas and the rice sides and everything. So the planning can be overwhelming, yeah. I think. I think my f- my favorite thing um, that happens on the trail is when we get a bubble of uh, hikers. Cause, so we're going southbound, and there's a lot fewer southbound through hikers than northbound through hikers, and especially late in the season we get really spread out and so you see other through hikers less and less and less and so it's really neat when you start to find yourself in the same place as the other hikers all the time so you have like all this shared um experience like built up and everyone can talk about the trail talk about what it was like for them when they went over this mountain or that mountain or whatever is going on and there's a sort of a special bond um, between through hikers that most people just can't really relate to. Um, so it's cool when. So when you crisscross. Yeah, it's it's, well, mm-hmm. when we when we all end up in the same places, you know, together, it's really neat because that doesn't happen too often. We're usually strung out over many miles. Right. So it's nice mm-hmm. when we yeah you get well, to see everyone. We don't keep in touch too so it's mm-hmm. like a pleasant surprise just to stumble upon another hiker especially yeah. like not having service or if we don't have their contact information or anything it's a cool surprise all right one last question okay favorite f- hiking food okay <laughs> i think anything- on trail we'll go on trail and yeah. then off trail on trail um dried fruit dried that's my good. favorite because it's or or even fresh fruit too. I I bring fresh fruit and because it's just the realest food, the purest. That nothing beats like fresh fruit or dried fruit too. I mean, as yeah. long as it's unsweetened. If it's sweetened, then I'm not a big fan. But yeah, know. I have to agree. I love fruit on the trail because just hard to find anything fresh or how hard to pack anything fresh. So when we've mm-hmm. got it, or when we pass like a day hiker who's got apples or bananas or something. Trail magic. Oh, it's the best. Oh, that's the best. Tra- We've magic. had fresh fruit as trail magic before on trail. Yeah, it it's was great. just incredible. And vegetables too, which. Mm-hmm. So, and then what do you crave in town? I eat burgers. 
Um, <laughs> I lo- yeah, I haven't done it too many times, mm. but yeah, uh, a good big hiker burger. I can't beat. Mine again is vegetables. <laughs> so whether it's you like want a big salad. Yeah, big salad yeah. or. Um, yeah, when we were in Hot Springs, we stopped at Laughing Heart Hostel, and some people got married oh, or something great. and donated the leftover food to the hostel. And so we stumbled upon that and got, it was like, you know, grilled zucchini. Oh my god, it's so good. Like kebabs or yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was so good. So just vegetables, really, that's what I usually go for. And fruit on yeah. and off trail. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can't beat it. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Yeah. For your time, I'm now have to make this like a YouTube Mr. Dave USA premiere video on the AT because <laughs> this was cool. awesome. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. And then yeah. in about a month, maybe I'll be, <laughs> it'll be on there when you're done hiking. Excellent. Yeah, yeah we'll look you up. All right, <laughs> thank you. Done.